It's Get Well Wednesday. Our doctor today is Dr. James Butch Roser. Dr. <laughs> Roser has earned international recognition as a surgeon, educator, and scientist with over 30 years of medical experience. Dr. Butch wants to uh, give your dad something special for Father's Day. No, not another tie, but something better. Conversation about men's health that can help keep them with you for a long time. Dr. Butch, how you doing? Yo, Tom, it's Dr. Butch in the house with you peeps. <laughs> All right, Doc, what are the top health issues affecting black men today? All right, there are five, Tom, and we need to really put these on the bulletin board. First is heart disease, and, of course, yeah. we know about heart uh, uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure. But second, Tom, is stroke, and the biggest thing is that we don't recognize stroke, and therefore we need to be sensitive to the signs of stroke, the face drooping, uh, slurred speech, um, um, uh, having one arm uh, not moving, and that's time to call. We call that the FAST initiative because if we can get – um, people out there to understand the signs of stroke and call 911, we can decrease the chances of, of, of paralysis by 90%. Now, then you move on, Tom, to something that's very, very surprising, and that is suicide and, and de depression. It's amazing that that's number three. Then you come back uh, uh, with your cancers, uh, lung cancer, prostate cancer. And you know, Tom, I was just on talking about the fastest growing cancer in America, which is um, uh, esophageal cancer, and that's connected to heartburn. So those are the top five uh, things, Tom, and we need to be able to be aware. But more than that, how do you approach your father or your man um, when you know they don't want to talk about that? And I hope we can talk about that approach back to this morning, too. Okay, well, how do, you, how, how do you approach your ignorant... Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, your ignorant hey, daddy. Hey, hey. Your ignorant daddy. Yeah, now, how you gonna, how you gonna approach your ignorant let's, daddy? Well, first of all, we don't start that way. Oh <laughs> uh, well, you know what, Sybil, you got see. That's what I love about you. Add adding that soft thing to this thing. You're exactly right. I'm gonna tell you right now, girls out there and women have it a little easier than us, Tom. My dad, ex-Marine, fought in World War II, one of the few black Marines, all right? All right. How do I approach that Negro about health? Right. Now, this is what I do. <laughs> now, this is what I did. Now, I did this two weeks ago, guys. Okay. I came to my dad and sat down. you got to put the focus on you. He said, boy, how you doing? I said, I'm doing well, Dad. I said, I went to a doctor, you know, I'm trying, you know, I'm getting old and trying to keep up with my health and do everything right. Well, that's good. Well, what did he say? Well, I had a little, my blood pressure, we're watching that, and my weight, you know, I actually came down eight pounds. I'm doing this. Now, Tom, you know what I'm doing. I'm putting the spotlight on me. Right. So I can then do oh, it. Okay, so it around. On reverse. Him, right? Yeah. So, so then this is what happens. Once I show that I'm talking about it, then my dad, I said, my dad, yeah, dad, when you been to the doctor uh, last time? I was talking uh. to Ludi, and uh, oh, well, you know what? I missed that appointment, but, you know, I'm going to get that appointment. Now. I said, well, how's your, what do you say about the prostate? Well, you know, two years ago, I wouldn't let the man stick that thing up my butt, but this time I'm going <laughs> to let him do it. <laughs> really? You are, dad? Yeah. Well, did you get that blood test, that PSA? Uh, and he said, well, what is that about, boy? I, and I go and tell him. And all of a sudden, Tom, it was on him. Now, let me tell you how I brought in the coochie gras. Now, that's the J word, coochie gras. Now, therefore, <laughs> I then brought my wife. My dad is a sucker for a woman. So I had my wife coordinated ah. to come in for the second wave. And yeah. then guess what? He got his, he got Dana, got him to get his appointments and everything like that. So that was my approach. Now, it's it a worked. shame. It's a, yeah, it worked, Tom, but it's a shame that we got to go and do that kind of thing, all right? Now, yeah. when y'all sitting around, you know, after you eat, you know somebody going to bring up somebody that died, all right? <laughs> and then it, it just comes up. And then the way to deflect <laughs> what's going on is say, well, let's look at who well, what about our health, our family tree? And that's why I created the Dr. Butcher uh, Medical Family Tree that you can get on MyMedicalFamilyTree.com so that people can come and while they are around the table and just lounging around, remembering loved ones that are no longer there, go ahead and get your family health history together, Tom, 
Because okay. you got to have that to be able to establish your um, health uh, profile for your family. Dr. Butch is going to be with us for the next hour taking your text questions. If you have a, twest, a question for the doctor, text the question to 646464 and we'll text you back. Thank you, Dr. Butch, for helping us on Get Well Wednesday.